ridiculous so. if, if, if that is the measure because the intent was there, grabbed by both shoulders, and still made the layup. That was the, that was the unbelievable part. Still made the layup. But to sit there and say that that's not a flagrant foul when that was incredibly dangerous. Right. Well, Ridiculous. Uh, one thing I do want to say tonight, Game 7 at 9 o'clock, Warriors at Houston. Chris Paul is a game-time decision. Yeah, actually, um, pro- leaning towards not playing, actually. Um, game 5. I'm watching Game 5, brother. And one thing, you know... You know how I hate the Wait, three. which series? Which series? Uh, you, uh, you st- I'm sorry, uh, Warriors. The we- oh, the Western Conference. Yeah, Western. Right. Yeah, There's, there was a couple of times when when Golden State's coming back, and there was one, I forgot the player. He's going toward the hole. Did he have a beard? No. Okay. It, was, it was the Warrior guy. Oh. He's going toward the hole. He decides to throw the ball out to a three-point guy. That's what they do. And he missed it. If he had gone to the hole, he would have tied the game. And instead, he the, the Warriors. A, the Warriors don't play like that. Well, they, they, they the Warriors looking to win the game. Well, they, they 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 screwed up. Well, but that's that's how both teams play. They both shoot a lot of threes, and and their offenses are predicated on the threes. And if they see an open three, they're going for it instead of going for a contested two. I don't know, man. It, to me, you know how I think the three pointers are overused as much as they. they yes, bro. You said that. <laughs> you know. If you keep getting twos and you keep getting them, instead of going one for four with the, the threes, you're gonna you gonna have a closer game. So anyway, I, I personally think uh, it's gonna be the Warriors. I think it's Warriors. I, I I think especially if Chris Paul doesn't play because the Warriors just curb stomped the, the Rockets in Game Six yes. with, with Paul was out uh, again. You know, tweaked hamstring. But if if Chris Paul doesn't play, even though the game is in Houston, I, I still I still have to go with the Warriors in this one. So Chris Paul might have to pull a Willis Reed or something, but if if he doesn't play and if he can't have an impact on the game, that means that means now you're James Harden going back to last season and and trying to win games by yourself, and that usually doesn't happen against the Warriors because they 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 have four guys, <laughs> right? Four guys all who can play. That's true. So and and two of them have been MVPs of the league, or I, I shouldn't say that. Two of them have been at least playoff MVPs. So that is that that's what that's what the rockets are up against tonight the fact that they're at home is encouraging for for the rockets but again if chris paul doesn't play they they, they got problems um i want to talk about the nfl brother go so taking a break go. Um, the owners did something stupid this week out of fear out of stupidity out of everything except football not the first time the nfl owners have done something stupid you know and this is the most successful league and sometimes i wonder why because they really did something this week, which I thought was the, was going down in the hotness of the whole topic. Meaning that it it wasn't as a hot topic the way it was, you know, in the middle of the season with uh, the kneeling and taking the kneel. Yes, and and I think they they by doing this now, mind you, they did it off season, but by doing this, they've reignited this fire that. Unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. They were so scared of what people might say. Now, mind you, everyone said all... Just so people know, we're talking about kneeling on the sidelines and and everything involved with that. What what they basically said is that if you're out on the field during the national anthem, you have to kneel. uh, You have to stand up and... They wanted to stand at attention. Right. Now, And if you don't want to do that, you have to stay in the locker room until after the national anthem. Right. Now... First of all, the people who say they're not watching football, we know them. They're watching football. Yes. They're not watching the Golden Girls, even though I joked that they were. Um, okay. even, even our fearless leader, the president, President Trump, uh, had a, a Super Bowl party at Mar-a-Lago for the Super Bowl. Well, of course. How much did he charge? I don't know. But I'm just saying, he did not, he gave up, he did not give up on football. The NFL... So he claimed he did. Yes, of course. You know, oh, I, I didn't watch any football. Kind, you know, kind of, kind of another lie. Yeah, uh, not, uh, not another continuous. Um, if the NFL, let's say back in two thousand, what, whatever the bills were sold, two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen, whatever it was, I'll take Trump, word on that. Trump wanted to buy the team, the bills, the bills, and they basically said, "No, we don't want you," with good reason. Can't blame him. 
This is the second time the NFL screwed Trump, which, and Trump never which the, gets which this the stuff. American people can say. So that. he goes <laughs> off and says, "Well, you know, they're un-American." And, and and if you know anything about why the people are kneeling, that you would have no, you would know that has nothing to do with being American. It has everything to do with protesting, which is an American thing. We protest. It's the, it's the very basic, the very uh, basic tenet of this country's formation is yes. protest. <laughs> so, my other problem with the whole thing is that first of all the league doesn't really doesn't have a requirement that this uh the uh, st- uh star spangled banner the national anthem yeah, same thing. yeah same thing <laughs> st- that the national anthem be shown on their games because they'll they'll do an intro and then they go to a commercial break and then they come back and maybe they catch the last minute typically yes if that so the the networks don't care so why why is this turned into this big problem? They don't show the only time they ever show it is during the the finals, you know, or, or the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl you yeah, know. The playoffs. But I'm talking about other leagues too. They, right. You, know. you you ask the question. I will try to answer the question. The reason it has become such a big deal is because our president is using it as a div- divisionary tactic. I know he is, and and it's it's he wants something to uh, his his entire. Reason for this is distraction from Russia. Everything is is involved is distraction from Russia yes. these days. Yep. All right, but this whole this whole episode, first of all, he and by he I mean Trump has misrepresented this to such an extreme to try to have people to 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 impact their their opinions negatively about NFL players. Right. Now that you can you can come up with your own theories as to why I well, I, I'll, I, I'll I just told you he, he wanted to buy he wanted to get in in 86 and then in with All the right, bills. But, but whatever. So so but Trump Trump you're saying that Trump is doing cuz he's anti NFL but he's trying to get the NFL to do his bidding. You know, he he called down he called NFL he called the protesters sons of bitches. Yep. And you again read into that what you want. There, there's there's so many examples of of you know Trump and racism over well, over the I, last two I, years I, or I more. Let, I'll let that go for another that, time, and I'll I'll leave that to the to the more political pundits among us. But when when you look at what's going on here, I mean, first of all, the players had no impact, no uh, no opinion, or no uh, no uh, say in any of of this. The owners right. just made a unilateral decision. Right. So expect the players to to protest the decision and to appeal the decision because it it, it has to go against the collective bargaining agreement. That's that was the first thing I thought of. I said the the CBA, if they have to agree to stuff like this, they just don't make up rules. Now now if they want this to be the rule, then they have to go to the the, and the players association and say we'd like this to be the rule. And what do you think about this? And, and I, know, I'll be, I'll be honest. I th- I think probably eighty percent of the players would say you know what fine I don't care. Most of them would. They don't care because because there there's not that many players protesting, and especially at the end end of last season, the protests had sort of quieted down, right? And and then people were like it, okay, who it got cares? To the, it got to the point where it was kind of like okay, well that's what some of these guys are doing, and that's yeah. fine. Yeah, and 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 to me, I don't have a problem with what the, what the players are doing. Because I know why they're doing it. I know and, why and they're doing it because but... they're they're doing it and just to to remind people and 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 to to anybody who who's listening and saying well, they're disrespecting the flag. No, they're not. I know that they're protesting social and racial injustice. My my problem with the whole thing was I I always thought it was the wrong place to do it. The NFL is not the place where you do it because it's the NFL. There are other things you could do. And but where else do you big, do it? There are probably better places to make the point. Where I don't know. Uh, when people say that, it aggravates me because where where's a better place? And and it's a silent well, well, protest. Well, the, the the problem is Colin Kaepernick is going to have to sue the NFL eventually. He is. He already has. Uh, well, he he he's still not going to get his money. Yes, he will. Well, he, he'll get some. He'll he'll, get there'll s- be a settlement, or or it'll go to trial. In fact, Colin, Colin Kaepernick probably wants it to go to trial. Probably. I doubt. I doubt he would go for a settlement if they said, "All right, we'll give you seven million dollars to go away." I think Colin Kaepernick would say, "No, we want to trial." Seven million dollars doesn't really help him. So, he's I mean, got money. Yeah, he's he seemed to have saved his money. My my problem was I don't and and I know what you just said, but I personally think there are better places to do it. Where? Give I don't me a know. Better place. If, be- you, if you say there's a better place, and then your next response is I don't know, then there's no because better place. Because if you're if they're not showing the 
uh, the national anthem on television, why waste your time? It's a television show. That's what it is. Because, because there's still 80,000 people in the stadium. No one pays. Do you pay attention? When last time you went to a football game, did you pay attention during the national anthem? Now I have to. Because well, when, well, when I'm working at CBS, I have to look and see who's kneeling. That's yeah, part of the job but, now. But, but are you, you getting the raw feed at CBS? Yes. Okay, that's different. Of course we do. But but they are they showing it? They're not showing it on. They, I, I, it's I don't, not like I they say. I tell you what's being shown it, to, the, to the population because I, I don't know. I know because that. I'm watching the I know raw feed. Free, I know you are. But. Most of it is not being shown. Let's be honest. Well, but but the issue that that is being addressed here, you, you keep saying that that there's other places, and I and I hear that from other people. But when I say, well, where where would you like them to protest? There's never an answer. Well, no, I mean, you, it's a uh, silent protest. They could not be any any less obtrusive. It, it's it's. Taking a knee on the sideline. I know line. that, Tim. I know that. People can either pay attention I, or not. It's in a national anthem when, let's face it, most people are either getting a beer, making a sandwich, well, or going to the bathroom. That's right. And and, so, and that's in the stadium. I'm not even I'm, talking, I'm about talking home. at home. I'm talking about in the stadium. There's a lot of people that don't, you know, they're, they're get rushing to get their last beer before, you know, the game starts. But, they don't have to worry about it. That's my point. I know that. But what I'm saying is I personally think. If I if it was me, I wouldn't have done it during the national anthem. I would do something else. I don't know what, but I would do something else. But that's my point. Have a rally. You're, 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 have a rally. Grab the people who are who, being who's, affected. Who's having a rally now? Now you have to plan. Now well, you have to get permits. Just, well, I'm not saying it has to be a big rally, but just you know, what what bothers me is is that this has turned into something that has nothing to do with anything. And it has, of course, it has something to do. No, it has, it has no, everything to do with social people, injustice. But the people, the idiots who don't know that, the people who don't know that, like, oh, well, he hates the flag, he hates America, blah 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 blah. So, Very eloquently stated. Though. Yeah, well, that you know, <laughs> those, those people don't know. They they won't don't want to know. They're you know, you want your message to get across, but that not to be confused. That that was my issue with Kaepernick back when this all started. Is that he said it once. And, and he actually he actually did this. The message with the kneeling part started because of a soldier. The soldier told him if he wanted to respect, the, you know, because they they all start started thinking it was against the flag, it was against the military, whatever. The soldier told him to kneel. I know. So I know the, the story too. I know you know the story, but I'm I'm saying the people who don't know the story, and there's a lot of people out there that don't know the story. I know that because they're listening to Trump tell lies about what's going on. That that is the message that needs to get out. Now, I will say the other thing is Keep Jets going. owner uh, Christopher Johnson, right, stated on the on the day that the NFL made this decision, he said he he would pay the fine for any player because that was the other part of this is that a player who does kneel is is going to be fined, and and I don't even remember the exact amount. Look up the amount, um, but I thought it was fifteen thousand dollars. It's a pretty, per person? Si- pretty significant amount. Yeah, well, per person. Of course, per person. What do you CB, mean, team? The, the players' association is not going. No, they're not going to. The players' association isn't going to go. Isn't going to go for this. But Peter King, our congressman, I know. from from Long Island, New York, criticized Christopher Johnson and and did so in a way that completely. I mean, I I I used to respect Peter King. The guy is is a, a a guy somebody who has served in politics for decades, and the comments that he made about Christopher Johnson offering to pay the fines for any players who choose to kneel was as stupid as anything that you would hear from a politician in Texas or in Florida or any of these other states where they seem to elect the biggest idiots who run. He said, and, and I'm I am going to quote here again. He said that that John. He said uh, Peter King wondered if Johnson would pay the fines for his players offering a Nazi salute or for those who quote spew racism. King also said that that Johnson was quote encouraging a movement premised on lies versus the police, which I'm sorry, that's completely false. It is. I don't How know how many why. videos are out there of, of co- well, and, that, and there was a recent video. Let's talk. Let's keep this to the NFL. Bro. I'm, I'm I'm keeping it to the NBA because there was an NBA player I know, who was tased was, I, by I cop. Know, I know that. This Tim. is why people know, are protesting. I know that Tim, but it's like I said, it, when stupid gets involved, it's tough to explain it. All. I un, I understand, That's but Peter King, that was just as as as, as just a stupid. 
a comment as as I would. I I, I thought I, I had to look around. I had to look around to see where, if there were any palm trees outside. I thought it was in Florida. I That's agree. how dumb we're going to take a break was. right now. Five one six five seven two seven four four zero.